So I get asked this question a lot, what do you keep in your pantry? So I'm gonna take you on a quick tour of what I, well, quick, not sure if it'll be quick, but I will try. Um, when you first open my pantry door, you'll notice I have some papers here. Um, this is something, uh, it's actually available as a download on my website. It's um, basically just a cheat sheet for how to eat healthy. And then I have my instructions for making sourdough, sourdough starter, and then I have my consequence chart, which I um, also have available on um, on my website. It's under, um, I'll put the link in the description below. Anyways, I keep that handy because I feel like I pretty much live in my kitchen. It's just easy to have it right there. So I'll start from the top. Um, what I keep right inside my cabinet is my coffee and I usually have a bunch of different varieties of coffee but I have several in my refrigerator right now um, that are whole bean coffees. Um, we're kind of coffee snobs here. We get all different kinds of coffee from everywhere we go. We always end up grabbing a bag. Um, and then here's just some pickled vegetables like artichoke hearts I like to keep. These are in water and these are marinated. I get both of these from Costco. And then next on this particular shelf, these are all of my sweeteners. Um, the lighting is so bright in here, sorry about that. But um, I have pure stevia, a couple of those, and then I also keep Swerve. I keep the granular kind as well as the confectioner style. That's just nice for making um, desserts without sugar. And then I also have the um, Trim Healthy Mama Erythritol. And then I have the Sweet Blend, which I have to say is probably my favorite. And um, I do have some agave back there. That is something that my daughter likes to put in her ramen. I don't recommend ramen and I don't recommend agave, but no one's perfect. So here I have some Manuka honey. Ironically, I don't eat this. We put this on um, wounds or we put it on our face. It's, I can do a blog post later about all the benefits of Manuka honey. This one is um, available at Trader Joe's and I know that there are other ones out there with a higher UMF, but this one was um, readily available to me. So that's why I have it. And then I have some pure Tennessee mountain honey. My children like to eat some honey from time to time and I do try to use that to sweeten their um, desserts instead of sugar. And then I have some just random bottles that I use to um, bottle my own kombucha. Kombucha, kombucha, I don't know how you say it. I've heard it both ways. Anyways, I think you know what I mean. Um, and then around here we just have napkins and then we have these popcorn tubs because we're really big on popcorn in our house. I guess I get that from my mom and popcorn is just a big deal. So we always have these popcorn containers which everyone gets to eat their own and it kind of feels like you're at the movies. So it's fun. And then I have my very messy <laughs> collection of um, jar lids and then I have our cup lids here and then some more random napkins. And then I have some forks over there which <clears throat> I rarely ever use. And then this is something I found, sorry about that, something I found at Costco. This actually comes in a, a bulk size box. It's already prepared quinoa and brown rice. Um, if you don't like garlic, don't buy this because it is extremely garlicky. But if you're ever completely exhausted and you just want something to throw together really quick, if you have this, some broccoli and some already cooked chicken, you pretty much have a meal. And um, I've even served this to guests before and they enjoyed it. So um, I highly recommend grabbing this at Costco. I do have some taco shells back here because Harmon really likes Taco Tuesday, even though the rest of us don't want to ever eat a taco again for the rest of our lives. Here I keep some nori. Um, we love to eat um, homemade sushi or other just Asian style foods. I have some Benito Flakes. Love adding those to stuff. And then on the bottom, I have some 
um, spring roll wrappers, I do recommend getting these non-GMO certified or non-GMO verified. These Mary's Gone crackers I love because when the children are eating tortilla chips, I have something crunchy to eat that I feel like is pretty healthy and they go great with um, hummus, guacamole, pretty much anything. And you can also crush them up and make stuff with them. I, I crush them up and add them to salmon when I'm making um, salmon patties and that's really good. And then the next section, I have um, my THM style, like baking stuff. I have some oat fiber, and then I have um, the THM baking blend. And then back here, I have the one degree sprouted spelt flour, which I use to make homemade bread. So I try to avoid um, using too much, um, just plain grain flours for um, baking. And then over here, I have some of our oils that we use. I do have soy sauce. Um, I do get the organic show you. Sometimes I buy coconut aminos, but it, honestly, it's just so expensive that I do keep this um, soy sauce here. And I have my olive oil back there, and I have avocado oil, which I use for making homemade mayo. Um, we also sometimes buy veganase, veganase. We always get the one with the purple egg because it is made with grapeseed oil. My husband could eat a gallon of it. He loves it. So I keep that in the fridge, obviously. Um, here we keep, I have um, some Hershey's cocoa and then I got this off Amazon, this black cocoa powder. It is amazing for making like sugar-free truffles and various other desserts when you want to give it that extra special chocolatey flavor. And then I keep um, my collagen protein powder here. I ordered this from um, Dr. Axe's website, Axe Naturals. And then I have a jar of the Mary's Gone Crackers here. And then I like to keep various dried beans and grains in these jars. I have garbanzo beans, black-eyed peas, light red kidney beans. Mom, where did you say mine was? Uh, it's on the stove black beans, some puffed cereal grain up there for making um, granola or different kind of bars. Then I have some orange lentils there, some cacao beans here, uh, black rice, uh, see, brown rice, azuki beans, these, uh, this is some just whole wheat flour. Um, more oat groats like steel cut oats and then nutritional yeast which we put on our popcorn and call it yucky popcorn that's pretty much a throwback to when Harmon was a little kid and he would ask for popcorn with yucky on it I don't know why he called it yucky because it tastes really good it's like eating popcorn with cheddar cheese on it but he was two or three when he he was barely talking when he coined the term yucky. So now we always ask for yucky popcorn. And that's our yucky. And then we have um, coconut flour, more brown rice, um, gluten-free rolled oats that I get at Trader Joe's, and black bean noodles I get in bulk at Costco. Um, that's something that I eat when the kids um, are eating something that I really don't want to eat, like a super carby type thing. And then here's some glucomannan powder from Trim Healthy Mama. I also have some glucomannan powder here. This stuff, it goes a long way. So if you're doing the Trim Healthy Mama diet and you don't want to spend the money on the expensive ingredients, just let me say that this stuff lasts, it really lasts forever. This um, looks like cocoa powder, but it's actually a mushroom beverage. And then more grains and <clears throat> cacao nibs and chia seeds, pumpkin seeds, I'm pretty sure that's baking soda, more chia seeds, more chia xanthan seeds. Gum. Yes, thank you. That's some xanthan gum. And then more um, organic sprouted spelt. I'm not sure what this is. Um, what uh, is tapioca? That's tapioca flour. And then some um, I think that's oat groat. Uh, no, that's oat bran. Oat bran in there. My rolling pin, and then I keep some 
these are overstock supplements or like supplements that I've bought in bulk. This is Jordan Rubin's um, Beyond Organic Terrain Turmeric, which is really good for inflammation. Uh, Pro Omega EPA DHA, which is also good for inflammation, heart health, immune function. And that's non-GMO. That's the noise behind me is Harmon getting tea. This is, um, it's called Adreno Power. It's actually um, a supplement that my doctor orders that's specifically, he designs it specifically for your nutritional deficiencies. And then some of my daughter's health supplements back there. And then um, our protein. I use various different kinds of protein powder to make protein treats. And then I keep some vanilla J-Raw protein powder, the pristine protein powder, the chocolate protein powder. And then one thing I missed previously, I have my, um, these are beeswax on like muslin cloth and you can use these to cover leftovers and stuff like that instead of using disposable type like cling wrap or whatever and then in this little basket I just have some random stuff like yeast and some garlic and then some organic lasagna noodles for making the kids lasagna and then back here's some more stuff I get at Costco. I have some anchovies. And um, that's a box of sardines by Wild Planet. Mm. Then a full fat coconut milk, organic pumpkin. I like to stock up on organic diced tomatoes from Costco. I do not get their tomato sauce. It has sugar added. So avoid that. Just stick with the diced tomatoes or the tomato paste. Those are the only two tomato items I purchased there. And then I also get wild alb albacore tuna by Wild Planet at Costco. And I get um, wild Alaskan pink salmon at Costco. And then of course we get, we love Kalamata olives and we get those at Costco and then I have some ketchup back there then on the next shelf I have my giant box of supplements and then I have some baking items um, there and then a different a few different kinds of rice um, rice rice and then this is some spice blend that my daughter keeps and this is my girlfriend Shannon's coconut manna that she keeps at my house so she can have a spoonful of it when she comes over because I don't care for it and then here is some various vinegar that I use in cooking and a supplement that was given to me that we are trying this month and, and these are various nuts we have hazelnuts pecans um, and then I keep this omega trek mix, trek mix with dried cranberries and nuts just because if I'm ever out and I need something to eat it's nice to have a pack of these in your in your car or purse and then I keep extra uh, peanut butter back here I only get the Valencia organic peanut butter from Trader Joe's if I, I don't really like to feed my family peanut butter but some small children are picky and that is what they um, really want to eat and so I get it just for them although I think my husband sneaks and eats it sometime and there is a big container of organic sugar that is left over from Christmas when I made some sugary desserts for the kids and um, guests at my girls only Christmas party and then we have Shauna's favorite macaroni my whole family are we're all very big tea drinkers and so I have this giant tray full of all different kinds of tea and then on my bottom shelf so I have sushi rice I don't know why but I have two containers of almost empty of sushi rice and then I have some tortilla chips for my kids and some random glass containers that aren't being used right now and then <clears throat> more glass containers first aid kit I think I showed this in my lunchbox station 
area before, so I'm not going to go into what's in there, but I moved all of my lunchbox station stuff here since I'm not going to be packing as many lunches this year as I did last year. And if you don't know why, you'll have to go and <laughs> watch that YouTube video and see our big back to school announcement. This is some random arts and crafts supplies. And I see there's a lid missing off of this one, but this is like Play-Doh, rubber cement. They're supposed to be labeled. Maybe they are on the side. No. Um, cookie cutters there. And then I have some various craft supplies, markers, crayons. <clears throat> and then here, um, this is how I recycle our Love With Food boxes. I keep special stuff that the kids might want to look at later. I do not keep every paper my kids bring home from school, just the really special ones. And so I have those there. And on the next shelf, I'm prepared with two new boxes for this year. And then I have oh, our photo booth props, some Christmas stuff, and then Thanksgiving stuff. And we have a tradition of um, doing some paper snow globes every year so those are stored in there. I have some Matthew C blocks here actually two sets and then some uh, paper uh, hole punch um, paper cutter and then back here these are empty boxes I keep when I receive my um, doTERRA oils I always keep the empty boxes because I mail my daughter stuff in Florida sometimes it's just really handy to have those laminating machine and then various Bible um no Bibleopoly various games that we play like we really don't play the Opoly games that much anymore or really those are probably on the bottom shelf because we just don't play those much and then this shelf we play a little more often mostly we've been playing Catan lately because it's we're addicted I admit and then this is the Catan Traders and Barbarians. This is kind of interesting. I just thought of this, but this is a Triominoes set. I can't get the camera to focus on that, but it was given to me by, well, it was my grandpa Davidson's. I still have that. This is a Moncala game that was given to us by our grandpa Huff. And this domino set was my Grandpa Davidson's. And this was given to us by Grandpa Briner because he loved to play a card game. And we have all of our card games in there. And then the last, like, back there in the corner is some shelf liner. So that is pretty much everything, oh, that I keep in my pantry. Top shelf, I do. I'm not sure you can see it, but I keep some stuff like that. And then... <laughs> one of my big pots and it. spiralizer and random stuff that I don't use on a daily basis up there and then on this wall fire extinguisher random um, diet notes which I have memorized and I really never look at anymore aprons and then here we have skewers for um, for when we do stuff over a fire outside and then I have this contraption which is actually a taco holder. Can you even see that? I can't tell. But um, <laughs> this holds one, two, three, four, five, six, six tacos um, upright so that you can make them handy for the kids, like put everything in them and then serve them as opposed to trying to hold them and serve them one at a time. So that is the tour of my slightly messy, not super organized, hopefully mostly healthy, pantry. I hope you've enjoyed and if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below.